Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a change of pace in terms of a video that I usually post. Um, I took off ads, I took off everything in the description box. I want to make sure that you guys get 20 minutes of just me talking and uh, I want your guys' opinion. Um, you know what? We've been through a lot in the past two days. Uh, at least me, at least. I can't speak for the other YouTubers, but uh, you know, we were given an ultimatum by EA saying, if you don't stop coin promoting um, in 48 hours, they're going to ban your Xbox account. And you know what? That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Honestly, I can always make a new account. You know, my sponsor said that they can pay off for the uh, damages, I guess, compensate us for these accounts. But uh, it's not too big of a deal. But I kind of want to, instead of bashing EA, you know, gather. I was gathering up points getting ready for an argument and try to get people on my side but that is just not me like I EA has heard about this stuff all the time I mean you know I, I don't think it's worth me saying worth the effort for you guys at least and for me it just, it's just not worth it so instead I want to give you guys my perspective uh, on on what has gone through my YouTube career in the past two years I mean you can call it a career you can call it a journey I like to classify it as a journey because I don't exactly know where this is heading. Same with all the other YouTubers. We don't really know exactly where it's heading as well. But, you know, we're, we're just living our life, trying to do what we're trying to do. And uh, hopefully one day it does become successful. I know all of us are. Like, trying to, try to go for that, you know. Whatever it is, we, we are all excited about uh, YouTube. And all of us are really good guys. I mean, all we want to do is bring you guys the best content ever. Uh, and you know, I spent two thousand dollars my own pocket money, uh, my own like uh, Chinese New Year money, trying to buy this PC, and finally I built it. And you know what? I, I've been slacking off in the videos, and I, I got an honest reason for that. And I kind of want to tell you guys my story about YouTube and what I've been through. And I guess it could relate to a lot of other people as well. But uh, I didn't feel like it was worth me arguing against EA because they've heard all that shit before. And my, my job is not to uh, make people lose their jobs or anything, you know. They're, a company is made up of a lot of good people, a lot of bad people. And to classify them all as a single person, it, it, it's, not, it's, not worth, it's, not, it's not a good way to look at things, you know. A company is definitely a lot of people and they're all working together to make one great game. And I, I see that as well. But uh, we're giving in this ultimatum. And I want to give you guys a story of how I've been through this YouTube career. I've said it like a thousand times, but I want to start back into NHL 13, NHL 14, you know. Uh, when I started playing this game, you know, obviously I love this game. I wouldn't be doing my YouTube thing if, unless I was enjoying it 100%. Uh, people tell me all the time, like, oh, you know, uh, how do you get so popular on YouTube? How do you do all this? How do you do all that? And honestly, like, I don't know. I don't know. I love the game so much, it's just kind of like days pass by and my subscriber total keeps going up. I know that's a lot, um, you know, it's pretty similar to a lot of other YouTubers. Like, we're all in that same situation where it's just like, we're just going with the flow. And, uh, you know, we're put into the situation and it's just like, how do we get here? <laughs> you know, from playing NHL all the way to getting your Xbox accounts banned. You know, it's kind of weird. But uh, NHL 13, NHL 14 was a really great year, great years for me. Uh, it was a part of my life, NHL. I mean, I played it all the time. And, you know, end of the year it comes out for NHL 14. And, you know, everybody's preparing for NHL 15. Everybody's so excited. And then one day, EA Sports starts following a lot of us YouTubers. And, uh, you know, we get invited to the EA fans' first event. And we were all so excited. I mean, it gets brought up all the time. Like, oh, why, why are you being so, like, mean to EA? They gave you all this stuff. But it's like... Who wouldn't take that opportunity? I mean, they gave you a chance to go to a hotel, go check out uh, what happens behind the scenes. And I remember all of us personal messaging each other, saying how excited we were to go to Toronto to check out this event. And we all went there. And uh, we, we all went. It was a great time. Probably one of the best experiences I've had in a while in terms of just meeting everybody for the first time. You know, the social media thing is it's pretty funny sometimes, you know. Uh, but anyways... We, we finished the event, and then we get invited to the YouTuber Opportunity Program. Uh, as you guys know, we, we get free cards every single week to give away to the viewers. And, you know, at that time, it, it sounded great, you know? Uh, I get to give away stuff to my viewers. I don't have to worry about those giveaways anymore. 
out of my own pocket. And I was just like, you know what? Sounds good. I, I'll, I'll join it. And, uh, you know, that's what I did for the past three, four months in NHL 15. Um, uh, with tactics, with X-Tech, with everybody. We, we all did it. And, you know, it, it was, it started to feel kind of weird. Because in those three, four months, I started to realize that, you know, when things are given to you, you don't appreciate them as much as you earn them, you know? And I talked to Flash the other day, and I was just like, you know, I was so angry, so angry about just whatever's going on. And it's just, you know, everybody's trying to survive, and that's all it is. And um, we're, we're all trying to survive in the YouTuber Opportunity Program. And you start to see, you know, people are starting to open up more packs, you know, a lot more competition, you know? And I, I couldn't keep up with it, you know? I, I tried my best to bring out How to Make Coins videos. I tried everything I could, but it just did not feel the same, the game. You know, um, I came out with guys on how to make coins from just buying and selling in the market. And that was my thing back then. And even now it still is, but I can't do it anymore, honestly. Uh, and one of the reasons why I dropped the YouTuber opportunity program is because I couldn't tell people that making coins, like I was making coins from EA, you know, I, I didn't want to be like, oh, I rely on EA to make coins. Because honestly, at that time, competition was very high in terms of opening up packs, uh, whatever it was. And, you know, you can't keep up with it. And sometimes I had to sell some of the giveaway players, even though I, you know, pumped out a video saying, you know, I'm giving away Datsuk, I'm giving away all this. And at the end of the day, I just sold it uh, because, you know, I wanted to make more videos, entertain you guys more. That was the reason why I joined the YouTuber Opportunity Program was to, you know, further my channel in making videos. But... I couldn't really do that. I felt like I was limited uh, into what I wanted to do. And I'm guessing the same with all the other guys. We felt bad uh, for taking advantage of you guys and kind of deceiving you guys. And that's not what I wanted when I first started off NHL 15. That's not what I wanted. Uh, just to tell people, oh, you know, I'm making, you know, watch this video on how to make coins. But in the background, I'm just taking cards from EA. So I, I scrapped that idea. I left. And for a short period of time, this is about... A month ago I mean a month I decided to scrap the idea and you know just try to do it legitly but you can't you honestly can't you know people keep getting more cards free every single every single week every single day and it's just you can't compete with it uh, as much as I want to try harder to buy and sell items you know it doesn't feel right when you know other people are also getting free cards handed out to them and that's where I was put in the position, like, you know, how do I compete against people? Like, uh, don't be sodden, Rahanic. Obviously, very good guys. I don't, I don't have anything against them. They always think I do, but I honestly don't. Uh, not me, not Rahanic. Rahanic and I talk on a daily basis, but, uh, you know, I felt like I couldn't compete. So I joined NHL Coin Market. You know, one day Tactics HD actually messaged me and said, you know, NHL Coin Market is looking to sponsor people. And uh, they're willing to pay out pretty high if you just say NHL coin market in the video. And I was like, you know what? It sounds not too bad. At least I can compete against everybody that's uh, doing what they're doing. And I can still make my own videos. And that kind of passes by a month. You know, I, I started getting back in the groove of things. You know, video started pumping out a little bit more regularly, but not as regularly as I wanted to. And, you know, the team of the year rolls by. And, you know, I'm trying to get hyped for this, you know. Uh, I pumped out a video at, I think, 12. I was playing so much about this uh, with all, all the guys. And I felt like, you know, I felt like it was kind of ruined, the Team of the Year experience. I'm not sure about you guys, but uh, I felt like I, I wanted to be one of the first people to pull a Team of the Year card. And then I, I saw Rahanic, obviously a very good guy, but uh, Jesse McClain gave him a Team of the Year card, let him release it. An hour early and he he basically showed it on stream at 6 p.m. Uh, an hour before and I felt like you know it, it takes off all the all the you know goodness of the team of the year you know I, I want it to be like oh you know everybody's trying so hard to pull a team of the year everybody's trying to put up team of the year cards in the market and posting an hour early I know bacon was a little bit uh, a little bit angry, not angry, but he was a little bit cheesed that that happened, you know, that he couldn't release it an hour early as well. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. And it kind of ruined my experience right there. 
a little bit for the team of the year. I didn't I didn't feel like upload. I I wanted to stream more than a couple hours. I did, and I streamed for an hour and a half. Didn't pull anything, and I just crawled up in a hole because like I spent a million uh, worth of coins opening up packs. I know a lot of other guys like uh, X Tech and Fla uh, X Tech Flash, uh, Tactics HD, Halo Diego got ran pretty bad. Uh, but we are all like so angry that this happened, you know, and you still see people getting a ton of team of the year cards and, and that's fine You know, I, I didn't really care about it too much uh, But then we received this ultimatum and that's where all of us start to begin to realize, you know Our channels are kind of on the line. Like how, how do we get to this point where? How, we, we are struggling uh, To keep up with all these youtubers and now we have to deal with EA on our asses and uh I don't know. It's hard to say. And honestly, I haven't even played NHL that much this year. And that's also something I want to talk about. And because I really wanted NHL 15 to be my year to get bigger on YouTube. I know all the other guys, too, can say the same way. And, uh, you know, in this year, I've only played about 200, 300 games where I actually felt like I was playing it. And usually every single year, I play about 2,000 games. Like It's a lot. And, um, you know, this year I basically cut it about a sixth of what I usually play. And it's not because, you know, I don't have the time. It's just I don't want to play it. Uh, I, d I don't have the amount of coins I had before. I didn't have enough motivation to keep up with my puck total. Uh, it was kind of like that, you know. And I played other games for a lot, like FIFA. I played Elite Dangerous for a little bit. I played Chivalry. A lot of other games. But, uh, you know. I didn't feel like NHL was my year. Uh, after past eight months, I, I didn't feel like it. Um, and that's why I, I want to apologize to you guys because I wanted to bring you guys hot roulette videos. I wanted to bring you guys so many uh, videos about pack squads and trade days. But it, it felt like this year was a little bit different. Uh, I, I didn't have the motivation like I had before. And, you know, I, I never want to deceive you guys because you guys are my subscribers. Every single subscriber I have is a milestone to me. Really, it is. And when I hit 25,000, I haven't even come up with a 25,000 uh, special or special video yet. Uh, but I did hit it recently, and I just uh, I'm so blessed to be in this position. Uh, same with all the other YouTubers. I, I think I can say the same thing. Like, you know, we're we're grateful for the opportunities we have received, um, and we still want to grow as YouTubers. But you know, we're, we're kind of you know held back a little bit, and I felt like that year, this year it hasn't been the same way. And I didn't feel like, you know, I could have stayed in the Team of the Week or a YouTuber opportunity where I received hot cards every single week, received Team of the Year cards. And I just didn't want the guy at the bottom. The, guy, the, uh, the basic gamer that worked so hard for his Xbox One, that worked so hard in the summertime to get the NHL 15 and feel like, you know, it has to be a pay-to-win game again. You know, I, I didn't want to advertise that because I don't support that 100%. And I didn't want you guys to be like, oh, you know, I need to open packs in order to play the game. It's, you know, I like the game for what it is, for it, what it is right now. I mean, you know, who can hate it? Uh, but then again, there are a lot of people that I don't want to deceive. And that's why I want to be honest with you guys. That's why I left the Team of the Week, op or sorry, I keep saying Team of the Week, the YouTuber Opportunity Program. That's why I left it. It just didn't feel right to me that I could tell people how to make coins, but then also receive uh, cards that I sold uh, behind your guys' back. And that, that, that was one of the biggest reasons why. Um, so now we're put in this position where, you know, NHL coin market, uh, you know, EA doesn't like NHL coin market, obviously, you know, they, they don't like coin sellers. And I, and I totally get that. Um, and, but it's the only way for us to, for me at least, I feel like it's the only way for us to compete nowadays. And having that taken away from us, you might as well just take out all four of us YouTubers, really. That's what it is. And it's just, it's sad to see this happen. But if that's what EA thinks is right, I mean, I don't mind switching games. It, it's... I really don't care too much because, you know, I think a lot of us are already switching games. I know x Tech is starting to play some H1Z1. I'm not saying he's switching, but, um, you know, there's, there's other games besides NHL now. And that's one thing I've seen in a while is just this game's changed. 
and I didn't want to participate in, you know, that type of type of game style where it's pay to win. Everybody's trying to compete with the best cards, and you know, I just want to have fun, honestly, really. And I want you guys to have just the same amount of fun as I had making videos, producing content as the highest quality possible, and you know, making you guys happy because that's what it is. That's why I do YouTube. I, I don't do it for the money, uh, and that's. Same with X-Tech. Like, I wouldn't be uh, fucking trying to w walking to get groceries if I didn't have that much money. If I had a lot of money, I wouldn't be walking to get my groceries. Sorry, I'm rephrasing all this wrong, but no. I, I don't have that much money. <laughs> Maybe make a couple hundred from YouTube and not that much from Twitch. NHL Coin Market helped me out a little bit. And, like, to this point, it's just... I don't know. I, I don't exactly see a future with NHL. For, for me at least. But I also, you know, I want to keep you guys happy. And I know there's a lot of supporters for my channel. And I can't thank you guys for everybody that likes my videos as well. It just, um, I don't ask for sometimes, but sometimes I do. And you guys are always there for me. And that's one thing I always appreciate from you guys. You just, you guys are amazing. And that's the reason why I do YouTube. Like, I'm going to tear up here, but um, that's why I do it. I, I don't do it because I'm trying to compete I don't do it because I'm trying to make money. No, it, it really isn't, you know. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm, I'm tearing up right now about this shit uh, because you know we were put in this hard situation where our passions are on the line, you know. And I I didn't want to lie to you guys anymore than I already have. Reason why I joined NHL Coin Market. Reason why I went to the opportunity team of the week opportunity pro fuck YouTuber opportunity program. And why I dropped certain things and why I've been in this situation now where I haven't posted a video about the team of the year for the past. It's going to be about two days. And, you know, usually I'm pretty more hyped about it, opening up packs. But honestly, I don't really care anymore. I don't. And uh, I, I don't I don't want to make you guys you know, feel like you're ever deceived. And that's why I wanted to bring you guys those videos before. How to save coins during the team of the year. How to do all this stuff to prepare. Because I knew, you know. You guys are the gamers. You guys are the audience. You know, it's just... I'm, I'm not here to trick anyone. And that's not what I want to do. But, uh... Anyways, that's just about it for this video. I mean, I don't know how long this video's been for. But, you know, that's where the position I am in. If you guys actually support me in doing my YouTube, you know, you can leave it a like. Or if you, don't, if you actually support it and you don't, you know, necessarily... Uh... I guess respect the decisions you can dislike the video as well I don't, I don't mind too much but if you support it you know you can write a little blurb of you know why you play NHL why you enjoy it and also if, if you just support me and you don't have the time of the day to support me just say you support my videos in the comment box below that it means a lot to me really and I'm not sure how those videos gonna turn out I'm not sure how many people are gonna watch it but you know what I'm trying to hit a bigger audience here not just the guys that you know, play the game and want to win so badly. I, I just want to talk to the average gamer. And I hopefully that's a lot of you guys. I, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, if you actually support it a lot more, then you know, you know what? Maybe tweet it to Shay Pomeroy. T tweet it to Jesse McLean. Tw tweet it to PAX. Um, because, you know, I, I'm not going to do it. Like, if it doesn't get big, then it doesn't get big. It's not worth my time. And I know a lot of, uh, a lot of us YouTubers don't mind either. I know, but uh, that's just about it. That's about it for this video about my two-year journey through uh, YouTube and through NHL. And just know that, you know, I will be here all the time, hopefully. Uh, I want to bring you guys the best content as I can, entertain you guys. Because at the end of the day, they can't take away my channel and my supporters. Uh, I mean, they could try, but, you know, it, it would just be sad to see that, you know. And that's not what I want. And that's not what you guys want. I know that's for a fact. Just, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't really know what to do in this situation. Anyways, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of me, I guess, in this past two years. About what I've been through. What all the other YouTubers have been through. And, you know, hopefully open up your eyes a little bit to what we've been, been through. Fuck, I keep saying that. But what we've been through in the past... Um, two years, you know, it, it's a great ride and I'm still looking forward to more, but you know, 
I'm a little hesitant. I'm a little hesitant now. I'm a little hesitant to keep going and make videos the way I wanted to before. And you know what? I might be changing my mindset a little bit later of, wh of what you guys think. Uh, so please, if you can, post in the comment box below. And uh, it will, I would really appreciate it. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.